So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I thought I would drop off a video tonight. It's a little bit late, but better late than never. I hope you're very, very busy right now with all of the preparations that you're making for July 4th, but most importantly, all the prepping you're doing for your family and your home. So I'm gonna make some pretty bold statements on this video because I feel like I'm probably not the only person that is that is experiencing some of this um, arrogance from certain individuals. Frankly, we, kind, we just call it plain dumb stupidity. And what I mean by that is, you know, some people tend to think that the world that we are living in and the, the recession that we are actually in right now and the depression that we are falling into, they actually still believe that all the things that they've been doing are still going to work for them going forward. They don't think they have to pay off debt. They think that their life revolves only around the stock market. They don't take the time to learn to, uh, you know, any self-sustainable skills such as animal husbandry, gardening, farming, um, canning, food preservation. They probably wouldn't be able to fight their way out of a wet paper bag if it really boiled down to it. But yet they seem to want to pick a bone with people like me and people like you out there because I know my audience and I know you guys and I know all the things that you're doing and all the things that you're trying to learn and prepare for. And to them, we're just a bunch of dummies. To them, I'm just a silly hillbilly woman doing all the wrong things. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> That's right. These are the same individuals that, that tend to think that because you're a woman, you don't know anything. These are the same individuals that tend to think because you choose to not to be in the system and trust in the system and put your entire life into a system that's literally crashing in front of your face, that you are the dummy. These are the people that mock our farmers. These are the people that have massive debt. And these are the people that would choose to take major financial risks as opposed to being more conservative, as opposed to being on a budget, as opposed to being debt free, as opposed to all of these things. They find no value in being this way. And the main reason that they don't is because it takes discipline, it takes faith, to get to a point where you are at this level and it takes an incredible amount of hard work. I am very, very, very convinced that the majority of you that are have been doing the things that I'm doing, whether you just started last week or whether you've been doing it your whole life, you are finding out or you already know all of the blood, sweat and tears and time that it takes to be as self-reliant as possible. You are completely unworldly, basically. So I, you know, I had, I had two gentlemen try to have a conversation with each other, basically discussing how they didn't think that I had a depth of knowledge in terms of investments or money. Well, first of all, sir, children, I let you know what I want you to know, okay? You know, I personally think that an individual should be able to choose how much they wanna share about themselves and their personal life or their personal finances. I'm not gonna open up my checkbook and tell you what I have and what I don't have. And because I don't invest my money uh, into the fraudulent stock market, um, does not make me a dummy. Perhaps I have other assets. You know, the things that you actually tangibly can hold or things that you tangibly can walk on as opposed to believing into the fairy tale of the stock market right now. So just because somebody does things different than you or because somebody doesn't spill the beans or because somebody's from the state of Tennessee or because somebody's really proud of their Appalachian heritage, doesn't make them a dummy. In fact, if we want to compare who probably made it out of the Great Depression best, I would guarantee, I would be willing to bet 
that even though life was hard, I would say a lot of my people probably went through the Great Depression and adjusted to all of these situations a lot better than, you know, these big time people in the big cities. Now that's not 100%. But I'm very proud of who I am, and I'm very proud of my heritage, and I'm very proud of the way that I've been raised. No, I don't put my stock and value, frankly, on anything, in anything on this earth. I'm working to get to heaven, okay? I'm trying to do the best I can as a woman, as a wife, as a Christian, as an individual, as, an, as a teacher, and as a mother, and as a friend, and as a daughter, to get through the times that we are about to enter in. Now, you do what works best for you. You invest your money and time how you feel fit. But I personally think certain assets have a lot more value than Xanadu and fairy tales. I personally think me getting be, me being able to and other people that follow this channel, I think the folks that live near and around me and the farmers that I know, um, I would love, I would love to see you try to keep up with these people. You might mock them. You might think they're backwater. You might think they're hillbillies. But when push comes to shove, these people have already time and time and again proven who they are and what they can do. And they can do that because they come from generations of it. So, no, I'm going to tell you right now, people need to do what works best for them and invest their time and money how they feel they want to or they need to. But here on my farm and here on this channel, I'm going to talk about what we do. See, everybody has the capability to go create their own blogs or their little Facebook pages or Instagrams or YouTube channels. And you can talk to your ears fall off about whatever you think is best. And I wish you the best of luck. I hope you make a million dollars doing it. I hope you take that million dollars and invest it wisely into important assets that you can actually call your own as opposed to hoping and wishing that one day you'll actually make money off of it. But it would not be very wise. This is the arrogance of people, and this is the division that is causing a lot of problems between, well, it's class warfare is what it is. See, we don't just have division anymore um, between genders. We don't have class warfare, or yeah, class warfare just between the states. We don't have warfare just between different economic statuses. It, we have warfare and division every which way that we go. And I can tell you right now, my great great grandmother, who didn't have a tooth in her head and would had snuff coming down her face, could work circles around you, gentlemen. I would bet everything that I own on that fact. And you would probably learn a whole lot from her. And I guarantee you the fact that she made it through the pandemic of 1918, World War I, the Great Depression, World War II, and raised a whole bunch of kids and lived to be in her 90s, I'd say the odds are in her favor. So people need to do what works best for them. People need to do what works best with their finances. This is why I don't give a whole lot of advice on that because I don't ever want anyone to take what I say, do it wrong, and then say that I've misled them because that is not something that I'm going to take responsibility for. You should do your own homework. But I will tell you that if you're going to take the time and effort and money to be investing in things, you better be doing it into the things that ultimately matter. The assets that you can truly claim the food and water and medical supplies that you need for your family. Do you know how to hunt? I do. I know how to fish. I can. I know how to skin. I've done it. I know how to preserve food many different ways and I'm continuing to learn those, those situations and things. I know how to go out here and wrangle up a cow and milk her. I know how to deal with raw milk. I know how to grow corn. I know how to grow tomatoes. I know how to grow cucumbers. I can do all of these things, and I'm about to go and can about, I don't know, 30 or 40 quarts of peaches. Can you do these things? So all of these people that are like me, that are watching this video and that are in this audience, I would be very careful of how you talk to people like us and how you treat people like us, because ultimately in the end, we'll be the ones to save your hide when you're running with your bug out bag because you don't know what else to do and your cryptocurrency failed. See? This is the beauty of being humble. This is the beauty 
of getting back to the land. This is the beauty of realizing that everything that we do is a gift from God and that we have no time to be putting other people down and to be arrogant. We need to be working our buns off. We need to look like we've worked our buns off. It's not about fancy watches and new pontoon boats and cutie tootie little cars and Botox injections in a Porsche and going to the beach and watching our big screens today. No, nobody here is doing any of these things. We don't even have any of these things, but we've got dairy cows, we've got dairy goats, and I've got a heck of a lot of good looking tomato plants coming on. Can you rise to the occasion? Can you do these things? Can you go out and cook, cook a full meal every which way you can think of on open fire? So instead of putting people like this audience down and questioning our intelligence and telling us how we need to be investing in the fraudulent stock market that's being falsely propped up, basically to make the richer rich and make the poorer poor and to deceive you, why don't you learn to do something today? Because we're going to be the ones above anybody else that makes it. Because we've come to the terms that we need to come with and given up the things that we need to give up and have pushed ourselves in learning skills and becoming debt-free as possible so that we can ride the wave of the depression that's coming because that is what's coming. People are losing their jobs left and right in this area. Don't know if you're aware of that. Right down the road, they're just laying them off left and right. That's not good. A lot of these people are going to suffer. But the ones that have prepared, the ones that have planned, the ones that have got extra food in the pantry, that have a nest egg put away, and that have skill sets and are willing to actually work labor, blue-collar jobs, as opposed to, you know, being cute all the time, they'll be all right. See, we put God first. We put our faith first. And we know what we're supposed to be doing. And it is following the footsteps of our Appalachian ancestors that got us here and that will push us forward. Might want to do some research and figure out who you are and what you need to be doing. Because putting down other people and playing a keyboard warrior on your phone that you probably paid too much money for, or wait a minute, you're making, probably still making payments on, isn't going to get you anywhere. So when push comes to shove, and you're running and begging for help, and we look at you and say, we told you so, well, we told you so. Like, subscribe, and share. We appreciate you. Folks, don't let these people push you down. Don't let these people talk you down. They're losing everything that they've got, including their minds right now. This is not something that needs to be happening. This is not something that people need to be focusing on. But the demonic forces and the spiritual warfare that we are in are dividing people even more so. And I'm telling you right now, everybody I know in this area, if you're coming to our parts and you're bringing this attitude, you might be leaving this area because there is no way the good people of Appalachia are going to let anybody with these types of attitudes step in on us and tread on us on our own turf and then make us look like we're the bad guys because we are the ones that have literally been grueling it out. Get a clue and get a life. Like, subscribe, and share. Hope you liked the video. I'm not going to have my people put down. You can put me down all day long, but you're not going to put the rest of them down because we're the ones that have made it. And we will continue to. We'll see you on the next video.